Hey guys, today so I'm on this tip, we're going to be going over some examples on how to um, enter logarithms in RTI ADP calculator and also how to graph logarithms, okay? So, first of all, um, in order for us to be able to accomplish the task for today, you need to know a special formula known as the change of base formula. Change of base formula. Alright? Um, so, what is the change of base formula? Let's say you have log base A or B, and you want to change it into base N. Uh, it's simply going to be log base N of the argument, which is B, divided by log base N of the base. Okay? So, this one change, uh, this is, this basic, this formula changes, what this formula does is it changes, um, changes base A to base N. Okay? So this, this formula is critical. You need to you need to have to know this formula, okay? So the argument goes on top and the um, base becomes the argument in the denominator. Okay? If I wanted to change um, a log uh, I want to change log base A or B to the common log to the common logarithm, for example, this basically becomes log um, of b over log of a. This is known as a common log because uh, the base is ten. Anytime the base is ten, you don't need to put the base there. You, you just did it. You just write log. Okay. So you notice that the argument of the logarithm went to the top, and then the base went to the bottom, and they both became arguments, and then. Our target base, which is base 10 in this case, becomes the base of the numerator and denominator. Okay? So this is a formula that we need to know in order to do the appropriate task for today. Alright, so let's evaluate some logarithms using my calculator. So evaluate the following. Evaluate the following. Alright, number one. Let's say we wanted to evaluate log of um five okay log of five well what is log of five let's enter in our calculator log of five enter it's six point nine nine to four decimal places so this is approximately six point nine nine i mean point six nine nine okay now what is the base here? This is known as a common logarithm as I stated earlier. What is a common logarithm? A common logarithm is a log base 10. So in your calculator, you have built-in log base 10. So anytime you cut your computing a log, you're computing log base 10. Okay? Let's try to ask another example. Number two, what if you're asked to compute the evaluate the common logarithm? Log of 3 over 5. Okay? So all you do in your calculator, you go log of 3 divided by 5. And it's approximately negative 2218. So negative 0.2218 to 4 decimal places. Now what's the base here? The common logarithm, so it's base 10. Okay? Alright. Now, uh, what if we wanted to do something like this? Log base 3 of 5. Will it be appropriate for us to go in a calculator and say log 5? Is that right? That's absolutely wrong because we know log without the base is a common log and is base 10. What I just did in the calculator is log base 10 of 5. That's not what the question asks for. The question asks for log base 5 of 3. So how do I enter this into the calculator? That's the question. So what I must do is I need to change this into a common logarithm so that I can enter it into the calculator because uh, TI-83s, the only language they speak is a common log base, okay? Um, which is log base 10. That's the only thing it's been programmed to compute. So we need to change this into a language that this understands so it can use the uh, calculator functions to evaluate the approximate logarithmic value, okay? So here, let's, see, let's apply, I'm going to apply the change of base formula what I talked about earlier in this situation. Alright, so this is the formula I'm going to use. This formula we talked about up here. I'm going to use it, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and do it. 
All right, so um, this is going to become log base, if it's base 10, I don't need to put the base, okay? Log of five divided by log of three. So now this is what we're supposed to enter into our calculator to get the approximate value of this logarithmic expression, okay? So we're gonna go log of five, close that, divided by uh, log of three. Enter, and it, the correct answer is 1.465, oh, so four decimal places, okay? So there you have it. That's This is basically how you enter log base at any base, all right? Let's try another example, number four. What if you call to evaluate the approximate value of log base of five of four over seven? And how do I do this? Remember, I must apply the change of base formula first. So this becomes log base 10, or just log of four over seven, okay? divided by log base 10, I just log of five. Remember the base goes in the denominator and the argument goes in the numerator, all right? The target base is 10, okay? But since it's a common log, we don't put it, we don't have to put it, okay, it's invisible. So this is what I'll enter in my calculator to evaluate this expression. So I'm gonna enter log four over seven, Please, please, please close this parenthesis, okay? That indicates that we're closing out the numerator. Divided by log of five. And it's negative 0.337477. So the approximate value of this uh, logarithmic expression um, is approximately to four decimal places, negative 0.3477. And that's your final result. Okay. All right. Now let's talk a little bit about graphing. What if we wanted to graph a logarithmic function? Okay. What if I wanted to do some graphing? Number one, let's say we the, the task is to graph. I uh, want to graph y equals log of x. Okay. So all you simply do is press y on your calculator, this Y button right here, and just enter log of the variable, which is X, enter, graph. Yeah, there goes uh, log base um, X. Okay, if you want to set it to a specific window, just to exaggerate, I'm going to use a zoom box here to set it to a specific window. So you just press zoom and then one, enter. I'm going to scroll up to, the, to this point right here, press enter. That's the upper left corner of my window. I'm gonna stretch it to the right, press the right button, just hold it down. I'm focus I wanna create a window that I wanna focus in, okay? So go down, 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 down. So this is gonna be my new window, okay? Press enter. And then you see how nice the logarith logarithmic curve looks. So what on earth did I just grab? That's the question. Log base what? Notice there's no base here. So there's no base, you know that is a common logarithm and the base is 10, okay? So this is basically log base 10 of x. That's what, what I just graphed um, in this problem. Now what if I would ask, if I wanted to graph y equals 1 half of log uh, base 3 of 2x. What if I wanted to graph this function? How will I graph it? Well, I know that my calculator doesn't do base anything other than 10, so I must convert this into log base 10 using the um, change of base formula that we talked about earlier. So let's do it. So this is going to become, we have the one half on the outside, one half of log base 10, we don't need to put the base of the argument. Okay, take the argument that goes on top, upstairs, 2x, divided by log base 10, I just log of the base, 3. Okay. So if I wanted to enter this into my calculator, because the base is different than 10, from different from 10, I must enter it using this format. Okay? So let's go ahead and enter it. That's why. Let's clear out this one. I'm going to put my one half in the parentheses, one divided by two. Now I'm going to enter the numerator, okay? Log of two X. Close it. Please, please, please close out your numerator so you don't um, create a grouping error in your entry, okay? 
Now divide it by log of 3. What was that? Enter. Graph. And there, there you have your uh, logarithmic graph function. Okay? So let's take a look at another example, number 3. Let's look at a transformed logarithmic function. So what if I had y equals 2 log um, of x plus 3 minus 2? Okay, we have, some, uh, we have some translations going on here. So let's go ahead and enter this. Notice I didn't put any base. So if I didn't put any base, you know the default base is 10. Okay, so to do that, uh, let's enter it in a calculator. Y, try this out. 2 log of x plus 3 for the x plus 3 close that so this whole expression is grouped together by product okay and then minus 2 enter graph you see i think i'm missing out some information so let's zoom standard i'm going to zoom to my standard zoom standard is the default zoom window for your graphing uh, window. Okay, so zoom 6 will always take you to the default setting. Alright, so there you have it. Now I want to focus my window in this area right here. So I'm going to zoom my, create a window that focuses just on this specific area. Okay, so zoom box is a good option to use. Let's go left, 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 all the way. Notice we shifted 3 units to the left. So let's go to the left, 4 units, and then go up. Not too high, Down a little bit. Uh, Press enter, that's going to be the upper left corner of my window, and then go right, 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 just hold on the right button, and the cursor is going to keep moving all the way as far right as you want it, okay, that's good enough, spring it down, and this window should capture my logarithmic function, the graph of my logarithmic function, this window, alright, press enter, now, yeah. you see how nice that graph looks like? So I can clearly see what's, what's happening here, and I can trace my values, for example, if I wanted to calculate what's what's the y-intercept here? I know x is 0, just press the 0, enter, and then it tells you what the y value is. Alright, so so there you have it. Okay? And that's that. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this short tutorial. Um, for updates and other cool tricks with your TI-83, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel just by clicking up here. Uh, you can share this video with your friends via Facebook or Twitter, or even Google+. More videos can be found on mathwithreserve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.